Westwood home, she gave us her opinion on everything from the tabloid press to life after death. oddball loner. I don't have an uh, extreme amount of friends. Um, it's, I'm just kind of one of those people that just hangs a lot on my own. It's a lot of normal things, you know? Born in San Francisco, Otis was out of her family home and modeling professionally by the age of 14. Her attraction to motorcycles, tattoos, and hard-edged living soon gave her the reputation of being something of a wild child. I've been like a rather nutty sort of eccentric person. I think maybe as I get older, I'll mellow a bit. I've never been afraid of it. I've never been, had a fear about dying. I've never, um, I don't know, it's anything that doesn't bother me. I, I, was, I found my first gray hair. Um, I did. I, my mom had like premature gray hair and it looked so beautiful. It was silver at a young age. And I was thinking, if that happened to me, I'd probably let it be that way. It's not something, I mean, there's just so many other things in life to worry about, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, really. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> get over it. It can be a lonely profession, you know, mm. from a young age when you're traveling on your own so much. It's, you learn a lot really fast. That's a sexy one. Yeah, isn't that great? Who is that that you're kissing? Mickey. Oh! Isn't that great? Anyone else? Sante Dorazio took that picture. You know Sante. He's great. Really dusty. After a nasty breakup with husband Mickey Rourke, which included allegations of spousal battery, the relationship made headlines when it was reported that Rourke was stalking Otis at the spring fashion shows in New York City. You're on the front page of the paper uh, today. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. How do you feel about that? I mean, all this focus, all, all this attention. I mean, I'm over it. Talking. I'm like, I'm tired of it, you know. It's just like, God, oh, I'm just trying to get on with my life, so... You know, mm -hmm. just doing your job. Yeah, just, just doing my job. I'm not messing with anybody. Leave me alone. No, no, it's just like a dog. Hi. Hi. What kind of dogs are these? Thanks a lot. Otis and Rourke recently reunited and, in fact, share the home where this interview took place. On the day we visited, the two had made headlines again after it was alleged that Rourke, in a jealous rage, beat up another actor for talking to Otis at a gym. We asked the model how all this press affected her. You know, look around me. It has nothing to do with where I live and what I'm doing. And it's not going to affect my sleep tonight. It's not going to affect me tomorrow. Um, sometimes it's, you know, it'd be really nice if they didn't write a lot of stuff. But it's, you get over it after a certain point, mm -hmm. you know. You have to. It's survival. It was probably one of the most devastating experiences of my life. I was just exploited in that film and um you know i was 19 years old it was the first time i was in front of you know a movie camera and i got killed for it and it i don't know there was something a little part of me is still healing from that i didn't learn that no was part of a vocabulary that was okay for me for a long time i was in an industry where you know, you would say, look, I, I don't want to show my breasts. I don't want to do that. And I don't know, you know, I am trying to remember at that point, it was like, people would kind of look at you like, well, what's wrong with you? Well, we'll get plenty of girls who will do that. I've been through so much in this lifetime, and it has made me who I am today. And I, I'm really a firm believer in that, you know? everything as horrible as, as the things that I have gone through um, I wouldn't change any of them you know I think it really is the makeup of who we become and where our destiny is set in and where we go from here and, and today I can honestly say I wouldn't change my life for anything